Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marnice Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter and this is the first video of 2023 and I'm just excited for what this art year is going to look like. I'm already like really invigorated to paint because I spent uh, the last three, four weeks with a major, major like viral cough and cold and so my plans for the end of 2023 just did not happen. I had vacation time, which I spent sick. <laughs> and so I did not finish the paintings that I had been working on. I haven't filmed any of my end of year videos, but I am starting to feel so much better. And so with that in mind, I figured I'd share with you guys what I got for Christmas, my art supplies. Um, and one of them I'm really, really, really excited about. So we're gonna hop right into the video. And excuse me if I'm still a little congested and I'm still a little hoarse. It was a rough ride over the holiday seasons. Uh, it kind of flipped through my whole family and we were all together for the holidays. So my boyfriend, my grandmother, my other grandmother, my mom, my uncles, my brother-in-law. Yeah, we all got hit with whatever has been going around everywhere um but yeah we're all really good now we're all kind of in the same stages of recovery um but we were all still able to get together for christmas and so i'm going to talk about this first thing behind me which is a big old canvas my little cousin he's not little he's like 25 but you know he got me this canvas because i said i wanted a big canvas and you know when i'm thinking big canvas i've honestly i was thinking something like 24 by 18 or like the tallest or biggest painting I've ever done so far I think was 26 or 26 by 34 maybe actually the painting that I am currently in progress with let me show you this painting that I'm holding up in frame here is something that I started working in in the last month of 2023 you can kind of see the idea of it here if I hold it up this is actually the biggest painting to date that I've worked on and it's slightly bigger than my standard. It's I think this is a 36 by 48 if I'm not much mistaken. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm trying to measure it in the canvas behind me but regardless uh, this baby is not the size of this baby right here not by any means i have absolutely no idea how long this is going to take me or even the painting that i just showed you which is in progress because i spent five months on this piece <laughs> so this is just a regular 12 by 16 so if i'm spending five months on this piece then these two i'm not even sure um, but I'm currently thinking that this canvas, which is 48 by 48, this is the biggest thing I will ever have painted um, in my, what, seven years now of artistic journey. <laughs> it's going to be a whopper, but I'm thinking that maybe to make this less like a big, like, you know, overwhelming project, I can kind of break it down and maybe focus on small sections for every, um month i'm thinking of like a wall of tvs do you remember in the 90s where you would go past you know like a best buy or some kind of electronic store and it would be a wall of tvs i'm thinking of using that as like a base and then in each of the little tvs having like a scene you know maybe it's something that was a good moment for me in 2023 maybe it's an accomplishment maybe it's like a painting and making a miniature scale of it that I was really proud of maybe using it as like my 2023 vibes <laughs> like a historical account of my year that seems fun or there's some other concepts I'm playing with but you know let me know what you think this is a huge canvas what do you think I should paint but anyway that is my one big like I can't believe he got it for me this is like a hundred dollar canvas and it's gonna take so much gesso so I ordered some more it hasn't gotten here yet but that that maybe should have been in this haul I just didn't feel like waiting anymore hey guys I'm hopping in here because I was just editing but my package with the gesso got delivered so I figured I'd show in this one haul the other things that I ordered for Christmas but they're just now getting here because two-day shipping no longer two-day shipping at all so you know <laughs> let's show you what I got so here are the things I got the gesso 
which is what I originally needed because gesso for this canvas this is going to be this whole bottle like I'm I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being the whole thing for this canvas but I'm prepared for that that's why I bought extra gesso which hopefully I don't need much more than this because I need to do a couple of layers I'm pretty positive so really quickly gesso I got some matte medium because lately I've just been very much in love with matte medium how it looks on my paintings the kind of aesthetic that it gives and I have quite a few paintings that I need to do a few layers of matte medium on top of so we have that and of course this art book because I always 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 end up getting an art book um, whenever I do an art haul it's just something I'm very interested in now this particular book is called interaction of color and it's the 50th anniversary and I don't actually know what's inside because they didn't give like a preview of what was in the book but I've been wanting to expand my color palettes and flipping through this right now I am not disappointed at all so this goes into like color theory color tones just how colors play off of each other and I do intend to read it but like even that is striking to me I've never used a color palette like this with the grays and yellows so this will be a good reference book for me look at this very nice it's a lot more reading than I thought it would be I thought it would just be filled with color palettes but you know c'est la vie so, anyway we got that I also showed on this channel that I had gotten these little um, advent calendars Arteza 2023 holiday advent calendar and it had all of these like little um, day countdowns for the 12 days of Christmas which actually starts after the 25th I always thought it was the 12 days before Christmas um, but no it's the 12 days after Christmas um so I was sick while this was happening so I did not unbox this on my channel like I expected to however I did you know open it all at once to get endorphins in me so you know I got a, quite a few little small things from it these little canvases and acrylic pad paper thing so I never work small ever like hardly ever um but I do often do a love art series here's a piece from it um and so I'm thinking I'm gonna do another kind of love art series on these small things so we have that there were some wood panels and some paint brushes that came in it there were some paint markers which I love to have because that makes it easy for me to sign my canvases in acrylics because signing them with the paintbrush you know when you have a long name is just kind of annoying I'm just gonna say it's kind of annoying hey editing Marnie's here <laughs> can I just say that I love 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 these Arteza um, acrylic markers the extra fine nib this is the perfect 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 size for detail work and for signing your name on a piece oh my god I did this I'm almost finished with the sketchbook but let me show you I think you can really tell with this right here but I did these little lines and then signed this piece and it was so easy it's like writing with a pen I love these I am now going to be signing everything with these for every painting exclusively I'm going back and I'm buying every color so ringing endorsement but also in there were different types of paint like little tubes of paint I am not familiar with Arteza's brand at all so I feel like this is a great introduction for like an art company I wish more companies did advent calendars of their art supplies but I also wish we had them all year round versus just in the holiday seasons it's just fun to unbox things get things in the mail and just try out new brands so um, I've only used the Arteza glittery paints um, that they have and rarely I have a set of like 12 of it but I, I don't often use it or reach for it um, there was some glitter that came in it sparkly 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 glitter so I love that um, and then there were these tubes from the secondary box that I got as well um, but most of those supplies I gave away so yeah okay so <laughs> besides this canvas and the Arteza stuff we actually have a few more things I finally got my exclusive or custom or whatever have you 1000 playing cards which 
I'm of two minds. I only got these two because I actually play a lot of cards with my family. We play spades. This is a spades playing household um, and I really wanted these custom decks. One to support an artist that I love. I love 10 hundred so much. I love the things that he does with this art community here on YouTube. But um, now they're like they're prettier in person and I forgot what these actually looked like because I was going to rewatch everything when I got everything and then it took longer than I thought so I haven't rewatched anything yet with his videos but like I want to open these but now they feel like a collectible and I don't want to bend them while I'm playing spades and throwing them down that table and you know causing a ruckus but like I did get my 10 hundred gear so there's that accidentally got so this is one of the things that I got. I did not realize this was going to be this big. It's 16 fluid ounces of gold paint. I guess I'm going to have to use this on this canvas because what in the world? I did not realize this was this big. I thought I got an 8 fluid ounce. I really hope I love this color especially because there's more in this bag. Okay. also got neon pink so I was intending to try these out because again I'm not very familiar with Arteza and when I saw them I just added them to my cart because I was like this is the perfect thing to try um these are two colors that I love I love a neon pink for an undertone and an undercoat um but yeah did not think this was 16 ounces of paint so oopsie but I'm not mad at it so got that got this skin tone set of Prismacolors which I love using my Prismacolors on top of my sketchbook pages and everything like that and here are some of the colors on the back. I never showed this book but this is Artists on Art. This is a little book that I showed on TikTok but not YouTube which is a collection of stories from artists as they reflect on art. This is a great introduction to new artists that I've not, you know, been familiar with. It has a great introduction and it's just a great overall read. The first artist that is discussed, like look at that. This is inspiring. They're talking about the concepts of their art, the muses, the behind the scenes. And one thing I learned over 2023 is that I absolutely love reading other artists experience, which it trends with me as an artist myself in this YouTube channel. The only reason why I started this channel was to share my journey with you guys, other fellow artists, which is the primary audience of this channel, artists themselves, you know? I wanna be able to share my art experience because when I was first starting out, I did not see the type of videos where someone was explaining their process and explaining why they painted some way and their, their inspiration and like, you know, the experience of being an artist. So this is a great book for that. I highly recommend. I'm about halfway through and I've learned about some great artists and it's just very much inspiring. Plus there's so much photos. So you're seeing different color palettes, different art styles, all wrapped up in one. This is a highly recommended book. I'm so glad that I grabbed this for the holiday season. So mm. I picked up some black Mars black paint from Liquitex. This was just a necessity. I am out of my black paint. I needed black paint so I just quickly grabbed this from Michaels but it was on sale because of the holiday so that's a win. And then finally, well not finally, there's one more big thing that I'll show you but finally I also grabbed this sketchbook. Now over the years I've used a lot of different sketchbooks. I maintain that this mixed media Canson sketchbook, especially the 9 by 12 size, is the best sketchbook to have for an artist who uses wet medium. I love it. You can put inks on here, uh, uh, color pencils, acrylics. If you just saw it, you can put oils. You can put so many mediums, watercolors, you know, gouache. It's so versatile. And because of the size 9 by 12, this is an excellent size to get an idea out, to put notes in the pages, to spread out and do full-fledged concepts. That in and of itself is amazing to me because I'm able to get a full idea out without trying to, you know, micro-size it and, you know, really having the 
page space to explore fully a concept you know do a bunch of sketches do color comps you have so much space and I feel like that is something that's really needed for artists especially when you're first starting out so anyway grab this because I need it because I only have three pages currently as of filming this video of my sketchbook which has been um, in rotation from I believe the tail end of 2020 until 2023 it was supposed to be finished again I was gonna finish those last five pages during 2022 but I got sick again so it, you know life happens but that sketchbook is almost finished. I'm actually going to be finishing a uh, little paint with me as I finish the last sketchbook page. And then I will be doing a sketchbook tour. So look out for those very, very soon. I'm so excited. I really loved working in the sketchbook, especially in the last six months. 2023 was definitely the year of the sketchbook for me. And then that leads me to the last thing I want to show you guys, which is this baby right here hello i'm so excited you guys i have always wanted one of those little art carts this one is from michael's and i got it from a gift from my boyfriend he asked me what i wanted and i wanted this specifically <laughs> i know it's not the most like, exciting thing in the world but man I've always wanted these little rolly cards. I just, when I'm painting, a lot of times I have nowhere to put things. And this is so functional, but also it's in a pretty color. So it's it's heavy. Like this is a woman. It has room for all of your art supplies to hang on the sides. You can put your palette on top. It can sit right next to me when I'm working on my easel. So I'm not taking up my work desk or the floor, you know. And I just, I'm excited to have this rolling around in my art studio. It's just like a little addition that I've always been envious of other people having because I'm just like, that looks so fun. <laughs> It looks so useful, you know, and I can't wait to get this, you know, loaded with my art supplies and just have it carting around behind me as I work in the studio. You don't even know. Like, I'm so, so excited because as I got older, you know, I, I went from wanting shoes to wanting like appliances for my kitchen. Like functionality is key for me, especially because I'm not a full time artist. I do not have a lot of time. And so I would like to set this up and just have it ready for me to paint when I want to paint so that I am making better use of my time. And just also, I just like it. It's just that little art thing that I want to have. It's not necessary at all, but it's just so nice. <laughs> so um, thank you, baby, for getting this for me. I know you're watching this video. Um, and then to everyone else, you don't need this. You don't, but it's often on sale on Michael's, so if you want it, there are fun colors. So, you know, um, I'm gonna actually put this together now. Um, and do you guys wanna watch? Come on, let's hop into the, the functionality part of putting this together, which I'm gonna try to do without my boyfriend. And we'll see if that works or if he's gonna pop in to fix this for us. We'll be right back. Late nights oh, in the look, art what's studio. That? A corner of my studio, my new art car, and my work in progress. Okay, we are back. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the cart was put together, and I'm just so excited to have it. So between the art related gifts and things that I got, like that's that's my fave. This is my favorite, but I know this is going to be a lot of work. This cart is my favorite because I just wanted it. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching again I was a little MIA because I've been sick I'm technically still recovering I still have that cough I still kind of sound like this but I will be back with a lot more videos my end of the year wrap up my art video goals you know looking back looking forward and then we have the sketchbook tour the last page of my sketchbook and just art things coming to you very soon but um anyway yeah my name is marnice nicole i'm an acrylic painter and i'm out so bye